while driving on a roadway with a single broken white center line. A. You must stay within your lane. B. You may cross the center line to change lanes. C. You may change lanes only from the left lane. B. You may cross the center line to change lanes. White lines between lanes indicate that the lanes are traveling in the same direction. Broken white line markings indicate that it is legal to pass another vehicle when safe. This sign means A. Divided highway. B. Railroad warning. C. No passing zone. A. Divided highway. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. This sign means A. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Pedestrians must not cross here. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to where pedestrians may be crossing. If a pedestrian is crossing in a crosswalk marked with this sign, drivers must stop and remain stopped until the pedestrian is no longer in the crosswalk. You must yield the right of way to an emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights by A. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. B. Moving into the right lane and driving slowly until it has passed. C. Stopping immediately, even if you are within an intersection. A. Driving as closely to the right edge of the road as possible and stopping. You must yield the right of way to any emergency vehicle that is using its siren and flashing lights. Do this by driving to the right edge of the road and stopping, taking care not to stop in an intersection. You may move again after the emergency vehicle has passed. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. You should signal continuously while turning because it A. Is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. C. Is always unsafe to turn off a signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. You should always signal when turning, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping so that other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians will know your intentions. When passing, you should move back into the right lane when A. You are one vehicle length ahead of the past vehicle. B. You can see both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. C. You are 50 feet ahead of the past vehicle. Always signal when? A. Changing lanes. B. Pulling into or out of a parking space. C. Pulling into traffic from a parking area or alley. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Your turn signals should always be used when you make any movement to the left or right. You should use your signal when pulling into traffic from a curbside parking space, moving into a new lane, or passing another vehicle. When a stop is required at an intersection and no markings appear to indicate a stop line or crosswalk, a driver A. Is not required to stop. B. Is required to slow down to make sure crossing traffic is clear. C. Should stop only at a place where they can see at least 200 feet on either side, even if they have to enter the intersecting roadway. D. Should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. D. Should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. 
If there is no stop line or crosswalk, you should stop at the point nearest to the intersecting roadway where you can get a view of approaching traffic. You should not enter the intersecting roadway to gain a better view. You notice a vehicle defect which may affect the safe operation of your vehicle. You should a. Correct the defect as soon as possible. b. Correct the defect when you can afford it. c. Drive the vehicle at slower speeds. d. Drive normally. a. Correct the defect as soon as possible. Any defect that may affect the safe operation of a vehicle should be corrected as soon as possible. Defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. When approaching a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow, drivers A. Should merge into a lane in the direction of the arrow. B. Should come to a complete stop. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. D. Have the right of way and may expect oncoming traffic to stop for them. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A flashing yellow arrow indicates that left turns are allowed in the direction of the arrow. However, the oncoming traffic has a green light and you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. This sign is a warning that you are approaching a. an intersection b. a crosswalk c. a railroad crossing c. a railroad crossing A round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. Which of the following commonly causes traffic accidents? A. Inattentive driving. B. Excessive speed under the driving conditions. C. Following other vehicles too closely. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Driving too fast for conditions is a major cause of motor vehicle crashes. Being inattentive to surroundings can cause a driver to collide with other vehicles. Most rear-end collisions are caused by drivers following other vehicles too closely. To see vehicles in your blind spots, you should check a. The inside rearview mirror. b. The outside rearview mirror. c. Over your shoulders. c. Over your shoulders. By definition, blind spots are areas that cannot be seen using your mirrors. To check your blind spots, you should look over your shoulders. A school bus is stopped ahead of you in your lane with its red lights flashing. You should a. Stop and proceed when you think all of the children have exited the bus. b. Slow to 25 miles per hour and pass cautiously. C. Stop for as long as the red lights are flashing. C. Stop for as long as the red lights are flashing. When a stopped school bus is using its flashing red lights, approaching drivers must stop and remain stopped until the lights stop flashing. If the school bus is on the opposite side of a divided highway, drivers do not need to stop. It is dangerous to follow a motorcycle too closely because a. They do not follow the same rules as motor vehicles. b. A motorcycle can stop much faster than a standard vehicle. c. They brake more slowly than motor vehicles. b. A motorcycle can stop much faster than a standard vehicle. Motorcycles can stop quickly and following them too closely endangers your life and that of the motorcyclist. If the motorcyclist makes a mistake, you need to have enough time and space to avoid a crash.
The sign with this shape and color is a fill in the blank sign. A. No passing zone. B. Wrong way. C. Railroad crossing. D. Stop. A. No passing zone. Pennant shaped warning signs like this are only used to indicate a no passing zone. To avoid being blinded by the glare of oncoming headlights? A. Focus your eyes on the center line of the road. B. Glance to the right side of the road. C. Focus your eyes straight ahead. B. Glance to the right side of the road. Glancing back and forth between the right side of the road and the road directly ahead allows you to avoid the glare of oncoming headlights while still staying safely in your lane. Increasing your vehicle speed? A. Increases your field of vision. B. Decreases your field of vision. C. Makes it easier to see cross traffic. D. Has no effect on your field of vision. B. Decreases your field of vision. The faster you drive, the smaller your field of vision becomes. As your speed increases and your field of vision decreases, you must be extra alert to potential hazards. Drinking coffee after drinking alcohol? A. Decreases blood alcohol concentration. B. Cancels the effect of the alcohol. C. Has no effect on blood alcohol concentration. D. Increases blood alcohol concentration. C. Has no effect on blood alcohol concentration. Drinking coffee will not reduce your blood alcohol concentration BAC. While it may help you to stay awake, it cannot change your BAC or make you sober. When you see this road sign, you should A. Keep right. B. Keep left. C. Pass with caution. A. Keep right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that a divided highway is beginning and cars should keep to the right. Signs with orange backgrounds are a. General warning signs. B. Construction and maintenance warning signs. C. Regulatory signs. B. Construction and maintenance warning signs. The color orange is used only for construction and maintenance warning signs. If pedestrians are illegally crossing in the middle of the street instead of in a crosswalk, you A. Must stop for them. B. Do not have to stop for them. C. Should honk your horn at them. A. Must stop for them. You must yield to pedestrians at all times. If the pedestrians are jaywalking or crossing the street where they should not be, you must still stop for them. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No turning. C. No left turn. D. No right turn. A. No U-turn. This sign prohibits U-turns. Do not make a U-turn where this sign is posted. A driver approaching a flashing red traffic signal must a. Slow down at the light. B. Drive carefully without stopping. C. Merge to the right. D. Stop before entering the intersection. D. Stop before entering the intersection. A flashing red light means that you must stop, yield to traffic and pedestrians, and go only when it is safe. At a railroad crossing, a flashing red light indicates that a train is approaching. Yield to the train, and go only when the lights have stopped flashing and all other active warning devices deactivate.
This sign means A. You must drive slowly and sound your horn. B. A bus stop is ahead. C. You are entering a school's parking lot. D. A school zone is ahead. D. A school zone is ahead. Warning signs are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazardous conditions and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they are approaching a school zone and that they should slow down and watch for children.